Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to um, create a PBuilder environment. Um, PBuilder is basically a tool that allows you to set up a um, a, mil a minimal environment so then when you want to rebuild packages for Ubuntu, um, it does it so it's in a clean environment that isn't tainted by um, user modifications. So it means that generally if you can um, build in PBuilder, it should be able to build on the... Um, Launchpad um, build servers, so it's a good um, step before you upload just to check if it pil um, rebuilds in PBuilder. Okay, so what we need to do, um, this one you kind of have to do in the command line, but um, we basically just all we have to do is we have to issue a command bit PBuilder dash dist, and then after this, we need to um, specify what um, distro we're um, developing for. So this could either be Lucid. It could be Maverick. It could be well, obviously any of the um, supported one could be Oneric. But at the moment, um, the focus of development is Precise um, for 1204. Um, this could even be something from Debian, such as Sid or Wheezy, all that kind of thing. But um, as I said, um, we're doing it for Precise. And then after that, we go Create. But before I do that, um, just to give you a bit of an idea. This will take a while, so I'll um, pause it after this um, starts to um, download the packages. But after you've actually um, made your environment, and say you come back in about two or three weeks, um, and your environment's a little bit out of date, all you need to do is run the same thing, but then update. And then it'll just update the um, tarball as it is, rather than downloading all the packages. So um, you just go pbuild dish, um, then the the release which is precise and then go create you probably need to do any passwords so type in that and then basically it's a, a long waiting game so i'll just pause the video okay great um that probably took about 15 to 20 minutes or so but um mostly um this will be largely dependent on your um, internet connection because after you've run the actual um, command and you put in your password the main part here retrieving and valid well mostly the retrieving part um, it's just basically how quick your connection is or how um, what the server's like if it's under high load well obviously we'll go a little bit slower um, but apart from that um, um, after this all these other ones extracting configuring and um, unpacking all that kind of stuff it, it doesn't really take that long the only other part that might take a little bit longer is it if there's been a couple of um, Tool tool, uh, sorry, tool chain updates where it has to get more um, slightly um, newer versions of the package but um, in this case there wasn't really that many so same with that part, it depends on your internet connection um, and then the only other part that kind of takes a little bit of time when, when I'm only talking about a minute or so is um, when it creates the actual um, base tarball, this part here but um, same with this part, I guess that just um, it depends on the process that you're running. So, say if you're doing this on a netbook, it might take a couple of moment, a couple of minutes. Whereas on um, a newer, um, you know, dual core or quad core chip, it won't. It'll probably only take about 45 seconds or so. But um, after that's done, to make sure that you've got one, you can just go CD into PBuilder, and then if we just LS here, um, it'll have that um, table here, and then. Um, it just means that you'll be able to use pbuilder to rebuild your packages, um, which is pretty good. Um, right here, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.